Maynard. <laughs> Maynard gets me going. Oh. He cracks me up. You doing all right there, Justin? <laughs> We're good, baby. Okay, I'm going to start recording. Oh. Just for the interest of the kids at home. Yeah, sure. Oh, oh. can this go up? Uh, sure. <laughs> Whatever you need to do to Perfect. make yourself comfortable. Uh, here we <laughs> See, oh, I told you it would be comfortable, guys. Oh. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Mazda you're, 3. You've heard of uh, comedians in cars with coffee. Hey, at least you have fat, a... Fat fuck seating food. Yeah. <laughs> hey, man. The, here we go. No fat shaming on Car Con Carnival. Not at all. Uh, Not at all. Which all. is sponsored by Boost Mobile. It's car con carne. Let's eat in the car. It's car con carne. And now here's the star of our show, James Van And I'm James Van Alstel. That right there is Todd. He owns 350 Brewing Company in Tinley Park, where we're at. We are in Tinley Park, right off, uh, what, what's the street right here, right here? 183rd in Harlem. Yeah, we're right off Harlem, right off yeah. 80, really. I mean, it's a quick yeah, shot yeah, once yeah. you're off 80. Uh, not far from that big venue, uh, the Hollywood Casino Amphitheater. Then in the back seat, that's Justin Maynard. How's it going? Blue, he, blue Glove McGee. He cannot stop talking about how nope. comfortable. <laughs> really? Are you with Bruno? No, I, oh, there hey! you go. Justin cannot stop talking about how comfortable he is in the backseat of the Mazda 3. Because the Mazda 3 is a, it's just a, a fantastically comfortable car. Uh, I'm going to have to switch our Wi-Fi here. Uh, oh, it's not even Wi-Fi. I switched from Wi-Fi because uh, I thought, oh, no, we're outside now. It should be fine. Uh, on. Back to Luna. <laughs> this is great. This is amazing. There's some yeah. heavy breathing. Right yeah. <laughs> I find it oh. sexy. Oh, God. So we're having some technical <laughs> problems with the uh, Wi-Fi, but I think we hooked up to a superior Wi-Fi network. It must be the 350 Wi-Fi network we're connected to. <laughs> yeah, it's got to be. Whoa. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Uh, so let's talk a little bit about 350 Brewing. We have food. You have an amazing kitchen out yeah. here at 350 Brewing. You brought tacos in the car. What are we looking at here? What kind there. of tacos are these? They're called Glow Skull Tacos. It's a mixture of uh, ground beef, bacon, and potato uh-huh. with like a chipotle crema. Yes. You know, onions, cilantro, I'm the good, real baby. deal. I'm, I'm good. You don't want to try and eat back there, Justin? I, I can barely balance myself. <laughs> Coward. <laughs> Coward. <laughs> I'll uh, help you out. <laughs> these, look, these look amazing. And because they're Glow Skull Tacos. Feet, that'd be awesome. <laughs> will, will they play horns for me as I eat? <laughs> yeah. Uh, you want one curd? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, also, oh, we, we also got curds, too. Yeah, uh, geez, I, could, I could feed Justin one curd. Yeah, that'd be awesome. you know, my, favorite, my, my favorite type of cuisine is bar food. Uh, oh, yeah. And you guys knock it out of the park. Thank yeah. you. Thank it is you. pretty good. Look at these curds. Oh, yeah. Look at these golden yeah. cheese curds. That is Tinley Park cheese. Bread and <laughs> That's bread. right. Artisanal cheese yeah. right from mm-hmm. Tinley Park. Cows uh, straight from the suburbs. I'm going to have one of these right now. Huge Amish country. I love big time, big time. curds. Yeah. Got the marinara. Cheers. 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 Mm. Yummy. Perfect. All right, let's talk about the brewery. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, 350 Brewing Company, four years about four years now we've been open and um tons of beer tons of music well let's go back to the four years you know the craft beer explosion is what it is four years ago what was your what was your vision was it this Mm -hmm. yeah absolutely i mean it was uh definitely wanted to to get into the music uh scene a little bit and um that was the thing like back when i was younger i was in bands and um you know, you, you show up for a show and you don't have a hi hat or something you borrow it from the band mm-hmm. uh, that's playing before you yeah. or after you. And the uh, the beer industry was kind of like that, um, where hey, everything I'm looking very at is DIY. Creative, this yeah. Is, this is punk rock. Yeah. yeah. Just with beer. Yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah, we love that's our that's our thing. Uh, punk rock, definitely in the ska. Yeah. Um, I think it's know, one higher of the rock music. Yeah. One of the things that Todd and I talked about, there's kind of like a correlating pattern with with punk and with beer. You know, there's a lot of passion on each side, so it's, it's easy to slip into either industry and mm-hmm. make it work. So Yeah, it kind of felt the same as, like, like I was saying, growing up in those bands yeah. where, 
Um, you had the com- camaraderie between breweries and, and, and doing collaborations with breweries um, where bands would kind of do the same kind of thing. And um, it's all about being creative and having fun. And, you know, hopefully, you know, you make money at the end of the day. But, um, you know, definitely doing things the right way. Well, talking about making money, and I, I don't mean to put you on the spot, but I pulled up here. This place was packed. We're, we're recording this on a Thursday night. Uh, it, it was standing room only at 350. Yeah, it's uh, it's going pretty good. Um, you know, I we could use more people at lunchtime. So if you want to come have lunch, cool. Um, <laughs> but yeah, at night, at night weekends, it's it's banging pretty good. Uh, so. Yeah, we're we're blessed. Hashtag blessed. Hashtag blessed. Hashtag yeah, blessed. You got to hashtag that one. And speaking of punk rock, I mean the theme of punk rock is apparent in the menu items. I'll, I'll just traipse through the menu here, real quick. You have the uh, uh, real big shrimp. Yes. Which is yeah, our like, boys. Yeah. Real uh, big fish. The glow skull. Um, the tacos. Voodoo glow skulls. Another great ska band. Uh, the Veggie Tacos Garden Grove, that's a sublime reference. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, American Idiot Chili Bowl. And uh, for you Chicago punk rockers from the 90s, the Fireside uh, Beer, Cheese, and Potato Soup. Yeah. It's a classic. And, and the, that's an well, all-ages beer and the cheese world. soup. The Pave the World. Blue Meanies. Come on, yeah. There Blue Meanies, come on. I didn't want that to slip past you. I'm <laughs> no, no, a Blue Meanies guy. <laughs> I, I, I am a Blue Meanies guy. I love those guys. Um, I Don't Want to Grow Up Grilled Cheese. Is that Ramones? I don't want to grow up as uh, descendants. Okay. Didn't know yeah, where you were yeah. going with that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the throat kick cauliflower. If I'm going to have any kind of cauliflower, <laughs> I, I wouldn't normally seek out cauliflower. If I were to have it, God damn it, I'm going to have the throat kick cauliflower. You better believe it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we are on Facebook Live as we're recording the podcast. Dennis Buckley from the world famous 88 Fingers Louie. I love that band. Love Dennis Buckley. He says, OMG, you're all so sexy. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing, Dennis? And well, Dennis is actually, you saw him. Yeah. He's inside He's 350 right now. He's a friend of 350. Yes. Yeah, so, uh, uh, and there's absolutely. an 88 show at Reggie's, right? Yes. Uh, so 350 Fest 4, Citizens on Patrol, is uh, August 25th at the uh, Tinley Park Convention Center right across the street. The night before at Reggie's is the, the pre-fest show, and that's 88 Fingers Louie Rehasher. Um, mm-hmm. Which is uh, Roger from Less and Shake, mm-hmm. his band. Uh, Counterpunch is on that bill. The Old Comiskeys. Who am I forgetting? Best band name ever. Oh, absolutely. Old Comiskeys. Yeah, there's no a... doubt about it. Um, so there's uh, news, though. Breaking news. Right, well, hang on. We'll, 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 we'll get to that. We'll get to that. Okay, right, okay. Let's, let's talk more about 350 Fest. I want to go back to the brewery. I All want right. to eat your tacos, actually. Actually, screw it. Let's eat your tacos. All right, tacos mm-hmm. first. All right, here we go. Yeah, I, why let these get cold when they're sitting right in front of us? Sure. In there, yeah. And the presentation. Presentation. Yeah. Got to breathe whenever you can. You got your yeah. shaved onion. You've got say. your... Uh... Uh, the cilantro on top. Mm-hmm. And I was telling Justin, Todd, <laughs> before we started recording, I mean, it seems like 350 is the right idea in the right place. Yeah, like, it seems like this is something the Southwest suburbs really needed. Punk mm-hmm. rock, craft beer, like the right attitude, the right food. Uh, I want to say hi to Daryl Wilson, who's watching. Hey, from bud. The Weevils. What's up, Daryl? The completely love awesome Bull Weevils. Oh, who doesn't love Daryl Wilson? Yeah, such mm-hmm. a good dude. That's our mm-hmm. guy. No doubt about it. No, mm-hmm. these are good. Oh my god, dude. These are tasty. You um. I can make a habit out the of the key is though. You take the little lime, a little bit of citrus, and you you, you hit it in a little kiss, <laughs> a little lime kiss, right on the tox. There well, it is. That, it, <laughs> as Just. serious as you are about beer, I mean, it seems like you're all in on food too. Like you're, you're not messing man. around in that kitchen. Yeah. So we were we were featured on Chicago's Best on WGM for our shrimp tacos. These are the glow skull tacos, the beef mm-hmm. ones. Which I prefer. So mm, a little bit of spice there in that sauce, too. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit of heat. Yeah, I like it. Is that chipo- um, that's chipotle sauce, right? Yeah, chipotle crema, they crema. call it. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't. I'd rather call it like chipotle sour cream because mm-hmm. I'm mm-hmm. a south side dirt bag. <laughs> <laughs> um, but anyways. No, oh, it's delicious, though. Nice, yeah, nice heat, though. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, Harry, um, Harry Anderson's the head chef, and he... Uh, he kills it, man. He comes up with all these different little tacos and little 
Um, appetizers we have. Beer nuggets is a big thing. So beer nuggets. Yeah. Tell the next story on that. So I went to Northern Illinois University. Hey, sorry, Todd. Will says, Will. The guy, the guy in the back seat wearing the latex glove is freaking me out. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sideways right Sorry, now. Will. Will, Justin, it's okay, I, bud. Should I turn my head and cough? Or did you yeah. <laughs> All right, so we're talking he's, about... He's got a latex glove on. I have a 350 Christmas shirt on. <laughs> this is all fucked. Um, anyways, so beer nuggets are on our, our menu. Back mm-hmm. to food. Um, went to Northern Illinois University. Didn't do so well, but they have pretty good food out there. Tom and Jerry's... Um, Lucalos, they have these things called beer nuggets. Oop. They have these things called beer nuggets. We're back. Um, where there's no beer in the actual nugget. What it is this fried dough? It's, mm-hmm. it's it's to soak up beer after a long night of drinking. Mm-hmm. And so when I opened this place, got the kitchen going. I was like, dude, we need beer nuggets. And I went on the south side doing beer nuggets. Um, which actually now there are a couple people doing. I see it out there. Um, but yeah, ours is just fried dough, a little bit more seasoning than normal, some Love beer it. cheese, some uh, spicy marinara. marinara. It sounds awesome. It's good stuff. Yeah, those are good, but we didn't give those to you, so eat your taco. <laughs> <laughs> I will happily eat these tacos. Yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you. It's pretty good, right? Yeah, I can make a habit out of these. Yeah. So I, I was talking to the head brewer um, before Dusty. we... Mm-hmm. Dusty. Dusty. Dust Bowl. We did a little Facebook Live with him before, and I asked him the question, and it really is a question for you, Todd. You know how some musicians and artists will wake up at like 2 o'clock in the morning, maybe from a dream or whatever, and they'll have a vision or an idea hit them in the middle of the night, they'll write it down on a notebook that they have on the side of the bed? Is that the way you are with beer, with beer ideas? Yeah, kind of. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't say I don't get that intricate, but, you know, I'll look at certain things. You know what? You know who has a big influence on me? And some people might be like, oh, wow, you're a poser. Uh, LaCroix. <laughs> Fucking LaCroix. Jesus. They have, like, really good <laughs> Fucking flavors. You know what I'll do? I'll take, like, a, like a lemon and an orange and put it together, and I'll drink it, and I'm like, fuck. Orange, lemon, wheat beer. Here we go. <laughs> but, I mean, sometimes it's LaCroix. Sometimes it's not. Sometimes I'm just, you know, thinking about, hey, let's put... Uh, Jelly beans in a sour. Um, Is that something we just you did that with did? Iron and Glass? Yeah, we just did a collaboration with Iron and Glass. Actually, I can't take credit for that. That was Eric from Iron and Glass. He came up with that idea. Assorted jelly beans, a ska band from back in the day. Mm-hmm. Um, I guess their 20th anniversary of being a band. I'm not sure if they're still together, but um, it was good. Good idea. Um, I, there's scary. been breweries that done Skittles in a Star kettle boost. sour. Yeah, Starburst. So, you know, Eric was like, let's do um, assorted jelly beans in a uh, kettle sour. And that actually taps Friday, tomorrow. And tonight you tapped your peach beer. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Shake City Peaches and Cream, which uh, you had. What do you mm-hmm. think? Delicious. It was gone in 30 seconds. You drank that thing 30 in 30 seconds. seconds, and I went and got you another beer. <laughs> let's be honest. Um, <laughs> so it was pretty good. It is pretty good. Yeah. Um, it's a little bit like a sweeter beer, kind of like a dessert style. Mm-hmm. Um, but, I mean, that's a great, the beauty of 350 is we brew pretty much everything. We got a beer for everyone. Whether it be something super light, like golden ale, um, like Kolsch. Ale. Yeah, Kolsch. Yeah. Lager. You know, um, like you tried the Skinny and Pale, the one we did with uh, Elliot from Chicago's Best. What do you think of that one? Perfect. I mean, light. Yeah. Yeah, super good. Yeah, but I, I love things. Like that. That's like my favorite mm-hmm. part. My fav- favorite part of my responsibilities is coming up with a beer style and then just being like, Dusty, it's your job to brew yeah. said beer style. And it's it's good to do it on this on this platform with this the small cycle brew system, three and a half barrel system. You can get creative, small batches, and every I mean, literally most beers that come out of this facility are spot on. You know, mm-hmm. yeah. I mean, it's pretty ridiculous with the. Uh, the hit or miss ratio. How many, how many beers do you have going at one time? 
on tap here? Oh, on tap? It, it all depends. Like anywhere from probably like 12 to 20 beers it, on tap, yeah. And how many barrels do you go through a year? Oh, is it? Yeah. Is it, uh, here we go. So, um... So the Facebook right Live, now we did oh sorry uh, Facebook Live which kind of disconnected. Uh, we're talking about the volume of beer, the different types of beer, and the question is how many beers do you go through, or barrels do you go through a year? Yeah, so right now we're like close to a thousand just out of this building. We don't do much distribution at all, mm-hmm. so you can't really find our beer anywhere uh, but here. Uh, but that all changes in about thirty what? days or so. Yeah, what does that mean? Um, so we have a new location, a new production brewery we're opening called the Insanity Factory, um, and it will will produce, you know, anywhere from five thousand to ten thousand barrels. So right now we do a thousand. Wow. Um, it, it looks so like you're almost maxed sweet. out here. I mean, you've got so much going on. It looks like you you need to yeah, expand. Yeah, absolutely. It was all about growing the brand, making sure that people latched on to 350, cared about our beer, and mm-hmm. then kind of hit the market um, that way. And so that's kind of what we did. And now we're going to hit the market, and hopefully people enjoy it. So definitely drink it. Um, but definitely come to 350 Fest for Citizens on Patrol. Right, we're so going to have 35 we, beers on tap. Did we talk about the bands yet? No, we didn't. We yeah. didn't. No. This this is a legit no messing around. This is a big punk rock show happening here. Yeah. It is. It's it's uh it, and you're right. It is a punk rock show and it's a festival. Um no, don't get it twisted. We're not talking you're not going to be watching Descendants, Less than Jake, Mast, Smoky Popes, a Wilhelm Scream, Sincere Engineer, Burn Rebuild from a football field away. No. There's going to be like only 3,000 people there. Very tight quarters. Wait, wait, I didn't, hang on. I didn't realize the Smoking Popes were playing. Yeah. yeah. They were just added, what, like a month, month and a half, half ago or so. Yeah. yeah. You know, we just played the theme song to Carcon Carney, which was done by Josh Caterer. Oh, there you Popes. go. Love Josh. That's he was right. here. Uh, what did he do? Did he do uh, Halfway to 350 Fest with with uh, Joey Cape? He was here with Joey Cape. He That's did. Right. He played an acoustic show here. And Smoky Popes played 350 Fest. Two. One. Oh, was it one? One. They were the headliner. For the first one, and it was killer, and I love them. And I, I love the Smoking Popes, and every oh, time yeah. I see Josh, and he's with his wife, I say, Josh, you really should go back to doing this full time. There's a, there's a hunger for it. I don't I don't think that's popular at the caterer house to say that out loud. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't they? Is there a new record coming out? Maybe. That's why uh, they just did a vinyl Breaking reissue news. of uh, Destination Failure. Yeah, which is amazing. That's a, that's my one of my top. Ten records all time. That album is so Punk, good. pop, rap, everything. Is it there. didn't exist. It didn't so much as make a blip when it came out that year. And it was stunning, start to finish. It's just one of those tragic major label records. The production nice. quality, though, is like really nice on that. Really like, nice. The, well, the drum writing kick is sounds like, yeah. oh, yeah, of course, yeah. Of course. That first, but, yeah, everything sounds really good. And we're, we're excited to have them on board. And, well, the yeah, Descendants and, that's and Less Than Jake, are you kidding me? Yeah. I and mean, that's... They're right there. You're done. That's all you needed. And then you just kept adding. Yeah, we Pretty just amazing. we we want it to be bigger and bigger every year. Last year last year was real big fish, face to face, um big face wig, to face to this stereo. Day, we had a great time. One, one of the best live shows I ever saw was face to face at Metro. Yeah. I, I just love that band. I, yeah. They yeah, they're they're killer live. Yeah. They super tight. Great yeah. guys. I mean, we drank Three nights somehow, and they were only here two. I don't know how to <laughs> do the math there. I'm not sure. I'm not good at math. I yeah, they it was it was great. It was they were so much you. fun. Yeah. Uh, Brian Houlihan, who's watching, says beer is good. Really, yeah, that, that, that's that's what it comes down to. That's it. Beer yeah, it's good. Beer is good. Three fifty brewing here in Tinley Park. Uh, I want to thank Craig Kier for watching. Um, I don't know what that means. Uh, Robert from Barry Me and Lights says that's night. He's talking about your gloves, Justin. Not That's so nitrate, not latex. No nitrite. Nit- nitrite. This is nitrite. Um, okay. Yeah, this is expensive nitrite. Is I it? I got it from Walgreens for like. Sounds uh, like a golf club. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have an open wound? Should I even ask? <laughs> yeah. yeah, like what? Yeah. So yeah, I was I was riding a divvy bike about a week ago, and uh, you know when you're when you're on the on the mean streets of Chicago on the lakefront, uh, and when they say go right or on the left. 
uh-huh. you got to make a move, right? So my tire hit a little hole. Uh, the wheel went from 90 to 45 degrees. Mm. Um, it was Ouch. a mess after that, yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, can you imagine me airborne? I mean, it's not There's good. no coming back from you know, that. You don't, yeah. Gravity. One, yeah, <laughs> once gravity takes over, like, you're done. So uh, literally, like, right hand out. Uh, yeah, rock and gravel. Ouch. He backed that thing yeah. up a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a little close. But it's it's very it's it's uh, it's healing up nicely and uh, we're good to go. So uh, that bike trail, <laughs> that, that bike path along the lake. I yeah. Think it's too stressful. Well, being an athlete, um, <laughs> it's it's one of those things where you know you want to adapt to your surroundings. So you know I'm I'm going 90, 100 miles an hour, and so is everybody sure, else. So sure. you know no, I you know I, I rode my bike on there once. I thought okay, that's it. I'm done. I just too much dickery going on there. And it's, it's too much. Yeah. It's too stressful. On your left. And it's yeah. not, not a plate. Hey, partner, I'm coming up on your left. Yeah. On your left. Like yeah. angrily. It's I'm very... pissed off that we're sharing the same space. It's, yeah. It, yeah. And, you, and you're dealing with, uh, I mean, you know, you've got, and, and that's how it should be. It should be all sorts. It should be walkers, runners, bikers, yeah. but there's just not enough room, you know? There's so not, that's it. There's not enough room. Yeah. You're right. So I tried to off-road it and uh, I faced the, uh, the brunt of it. So. And, and I, Joe, by the way, I cannot relate to any of this conversation. <laughs> I, you're not going to catch me on a bike. So, <laughs> not happen. This will be my last time talking about a bike ride, <laughs> too. So uh, I am disappointed in Joe, who's watching on Facebook Live right now. Who Joe says does. that Justin is not going to be able to get out of the back seat. I'm not. I'm not. It's, it's not a reflection on Joey Justin Booch. Maynard. I know, it, Joe. It is not a reflection on you, Justin. It's just the size of the Mazda 3. It has nothing to do yeah, with you. Yeah, yeah. Well, we're looking for new uh, car sponsors for, uh, you know, the I'll pull you out. Car King Always. Carne Show. Yeah. Yeah. We are. I, I love a, Ma- a Mazda sponsorship. Yeah. Seems like a no-brainer, right? I just leased yeah, a car awesome. at, uh, at uh, the Bettenhausen in uh, Tinley Park, so maybe they can uh, yeah, jump right around on the board. corner. Yeah. yeah. They spend money on radio. Get a bigger yeah. Mazda SUV style. I th- James, you and I could probably take over the world if it comes down to it, so we'll, we'll talk to them. I had a dream. Oh, I like this. <laughs> That's how you started off. <laughs> it involved you. And the okay. <laughs> I had a dream. This was probably like three nights ago. And before we were recording, I was talking to Justin about how I've thrown myself into collecting vinyl again. Yeah. I, I, I buy records again, and I haven't done that for years. I had a dream. I started a record label, which sounds like a waking nightmare to Justin, who's started his own label. But it was vinyl only. <laughs> and it was all local bands. Sounds lucrative, I know. And <laughs> yep. I woke up thinking, could I do that? Then I quickly changed my th- changed my thought process. But every now and then I go back to, that would be fun to do. Yeah. Like press records. I'm I, with you. Yeah. I, there's probably no money in that, but that, that was my dream the other night. Yeah. So, yeah. And I, 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 I actually, I thought the same thing. And uh, I'm actually working with a couple bands right now. Really? So maybe you and I could talk and... We should totally talk. Make this dream a reality. I like it. Breaking hey, news. America. I want to say hi to Maddie from Take the Reins, who's watching. Hey, Maddie. Uh, hey. <laughs> I know so, Maddie. Maddie's a good man. Maddie gets around. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, I don't mean that in a weird way. I mean, well-traveled. Yeah. Um, <laughs> 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 Trying to do that hand. Yeah, like, the hand, yeah. <laughs> going back to this idea, uh, we should talk afterwards. I, I need more man friends, I realize. Yeah. As I'm in, in my adult years now, I need more man friends. Cool. Hey, I'm here We're for your friends, you. yeah. This because is here's easy. the thing. As I experienced with Take the Reins, I, I came to this shocking realization that Carcon Carney is my social life. This is it. Like yeah. You, this, is it. this is my social outing for the week. It's not bad. Let's it's not a bad it. gig. I mean, yeah, this is fun. You know, free dinner. Yeah. Um, not always free, but tonight it, it's lovely. Oh, of course yeah. it's free. Come on. Well, now it depends on where I go. There you go. Love the curds. A little curd action. Mm-hmm. Hey, well, let's feed Justin one. Yeah, if, can, can someone give me a sideways uh, curd? <laughs> I can't even bend. Uh, it. It's not going to work. <laughs> that was the least sexy thing uh, I've I'm ever I'm just going to eat it. <laughs> <laughs> I tried. We Ain't should do one. this every week. Yeah. <laughs> so, James. Uh, Bettenhausen, uh, <laughs> can we please talk? Let's eat in a small car <laughs> every week. <laughs> Get it smaller and smaller. So, so uh. James, when did you stop recording Carcon Carney? Well, it was the time I watched Todd hand feed Justin a <laughs> in my car. I really turned the corner and realized I need to do. Yeah. I, need, I need to put better stuff out into the world. Yeah, you know yeah, right it's now. pretty I, bad. It's pretty bad. I, need, I really need to refocus my efforts. Oh my gosh! All right, so three fifty fest is happening. Uh, tell me the date again. August twenty fifth. 
August 25th. Uh, Saturday. It's a, it's a value at any price. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, it starts at 3.50. P.M. P.M. Because 3.50. It's... Is, is that is that how you came up with it? And lame at the same time. <laughs> Dude, that's Whatever. marketing. Yeah. Whatever. You can't forget that. Um Yeah, it's it's a fun it's a fun time. There's wrestling there too. Wait, stop it. Really? Freelance wrestling is going to be body slamming, breaking bottles over people's heads. Stop it, really. You're gonna have freelance wrestling there. Freelance will be there. Yeah. So it's like band wrestling matches, bands. Drink beer. Food. I am pretty sure you're now there's my a, best friend. There's a hot wing challenge. If you want. Wing. For charity. For charity. Wing. Burn your butthole for charity. <laughs> Come on I out. Saw I saw that movie, but. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yep. Uh, so, wait, what, what does the hot wing challenge involve? So, you got to eat four hot wings in five minutes. Are they, are they hot wings that come out of your kitchen? Well, we're going to be over at the convention center. So, but, uh, from your. Um, yeah, so your we, we're kind of coming up with the sauce. Uh, I know actually, Reggie's is involved, we, right? Yeah, Reggie's, and we teamed up with a hot sauce company, too. That'll that'll be in the house, nice. and uh, yeah, it's four four wings, five minutes. It's ten dollars to try it. Um, if you do it, you know you get. Uh, I think it's like a twenty dollars gift card to three fifty and a t shirt. And then if not, then the money's donated to. And I think we're teaming up with Paws. Oh, that's great. Oh, yeah, nice. that's great. Yeah, for the, Who doesn't for the love animals? Doggies. Yeah. yeah, that's a charity everyone can agree on. Exactly. exactly. Yeah. Uh, all right. So that's going on. Three fifty is here in Tinley Park. The, the brewing company, um, the food menu, the beers. Uh, you've got a great place. Like you did Thank it. You you, fig- you cracked the code. You figured out how to do this. I, and I, I really think this is the right idea in the right area. Thank I mean, you. you. We love it. it. Yeah, we love Tinley Park. Um, I think it's necessary. It's always been here. good. Yeah. yeah, it's always been good to a, us. There's a lot of other breweries around here too. That it's a nice corridor of like craft beer craft breweries out here. So yeah. And you know, it, right off of I-80, Harlem exit, well, Grange exit, there's a lot of good breweries around here, so it's necessary. And we were talking earlier in the podcast about how there's almost a, a punk rock DIY sensibility to starting up a craft brewery, and similar to being in a band, I mean, there are moments that musicians have where they're like, oh, shit, what are we doing? Like, it's not, you know, the signs aren't there, I don't know if this is going to work out. Did that ever happen along the way for you? Yeah, I mean, you got to keep pushing... Um you know, you got to keep growing, so you got to find ways to make certain things happen. Um, that's like the whole thing with the Insanity Factory is like, you know, we could have just said, okay, let's just pack it in and me and Dusty will work the tap room and I'll continue trying to make pretzel sticks while we're <laughs> brewing and serving beer, or we can try and like really take it to the next level and, and start a, a production brewery. Yeah. And, and get things rolling, and um, well, this yeah, there's definitely some doubts, but you know, at the same time, if you believe in you know your product and your brand, mm-hmm. you know, you gotta you gotta keep going. And, and distribution will be a game changer. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, we even think so. if you start small, I mean, that's a yeah. game changer. It is. We have a lot of ideas, and we like to have a lot of fun with obviously with music, but um, plenty of other things too. Just being in the market, yeah, yeah. Oh wait. Dennis Buckley is oh, here comes Dennis. out there is grabbing his nipples. So the, the <laughs> it's nice. Wait. Dude, come in here. Come in. There's no Where? room. There's no, there's no room. This is a bad idea. I can't believe I... Stick your head through Get the Get your head in here. here give, I... give, him the, give him that microphone if you can read yeah. this. Get in here. You can fit in here. Or How am he, I in Tilly Park the and, car. and seeing a car called Carney Car? Get in here. All right. I'm going to so, lean on your... On your... For, for those oh, of you... Jesus. Uh, who, Jesus Christ of Latter Day Saints. Here we go. Here we go. Dennis Buckley from oh. 88 Fingers oh, you, you Louis, the front man of 88 Fingers Louis, is yeah, jumping in the car <laughs> as we speak. Uh, it's a kind of a Pretty delicate sure balance. Here. Yeah. The blue gloves. I like that. JP Rosen. says 350 Fest, the best fest you won't won't remember. But you know what's beautiful about that statement is there's a hotel attached to the fest. That's so. perfect. Yeah. It, it's like they knew. It's like you knew. Perfect. Can you, can you get your head over? Come on, Dennis. Get in here, right, baby. So Dennis. Hey. Hey. Dennis Buckley from 88 Fingers Louie. Hi. Uh, now, we talked about the fact that 88 Fingers Louie is doing a show at Reggie's the night before 350 Fest. We are? You are. Yes. Oh, okay. Yes, we are. Uh, but <laughs> now you're, you just happen to be here. Yeah. Not a coincidence. Why are you here? Why are you here, buddy? I'm here to eat some delicious food and drink some delicious beers. Dude, have some yeah. tacos. And you want some uh, more tacos? Oh, I can't. I'll... My yeah. girlfriend's waiting for me, and if I have one more taco, it's going to be a, 
a smelly ride home. Dude, don't be a you know pussy. I mean. Who cares what she thinks? Oh. Be your own man. Eat a taco. No. Okay. 20 years ago? Debbie, man, I will have no more tacos. That taco. <laughs> 20 years ago, I would have. Yeah. I love how all the questions are, why is that guy a latex glove on? <laughs> <laughs> latex glove question. Latex glove question. <laughs> wow, what a freak. <laughs> well... I'm Love here. It. I'm here. I'm here with a special announcement. A special yeah, yeah, we got a special announcement. That is fucking in the car in Tinley Park outside the Brewing. I'm here. I'm here with a special announcement. Uh, anybody that's coming out to the 350 pre-party on uh, Friday, the 24th of August, uh, 88 Fingers Louis will be playing in its entirety back on the streets. Uh, nice. It is our 20th that's year of the album being out, so we said, hey. That's Let's amazing. celebrate with 350 and play the album live. So how cool is that? <laughs> I love the full album plays. What a great idea! Yeah, We've know, never done it. it. Well, we actually technically did it once before with the new album, but I was too drunk to remember it. But yeah. this time I'll be stone cold sober because nobody's going to give me any 350 beer at that show. No, and Dennis, won't. how no, could it be won't. 20 years? Uh, Th- that seems insane. Because it? in 1998, when I was a, a young 45 uh, year old man, <laughs> uh, we, we, we <laughs> put that record out. It's it's crazy that it's been twenty years. Honestly, it is. It, it kind of blows my mind, but uh, yeah. So, so anybody that's coming out to the twenty fourth show, so you're gonna play the album in its entirety. Yes. And will there also be eighty eight fingers Louis classics to share that evening? Well, you know, if the whiskey's running um, and there's three fifty beer flowing, we, we talked about behind bars. There'll be some. Shut up, Justin. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> you and your latex glove. Uh, yeah, yeah. No glove, no love. Please, <laughs> please kick me out of this interview. I'd love to get out. No glove, no love. And there's the headline for this show. Yeah. 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 Are you guys so, ta- are you guys talking about horses' asses? We yeah, are. Yeah. 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 Okay. You're a huge one. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. I'm the biggest. But, uh, so, so the the album front to back, uh, and then also, thank you for being a beer. Will be yes available. Yeah. Uh, the 88 amazing. Fingers 350 Brewing collaboration beer, the Hoppy Wheat, which has been a huge success. Yeah. We'll be back a great beer. Be that back. night. We're going to get horses And ass. Rehasher. We We're going to get about high on our own supply already. is basically so, what's going to so happen. So pumped about that. Yeah. First time in Chicago, Rehasher. It is their first time in Chicago. It is, yeah. That's amazing. That's going to be awesome. It's going to be a killer show. Yeah. It's going to be sold out, no doubt about it. Get your tickets. I got like a handful of, of tickets that I'm saving for when it does sell out uh, that we're going to... We're gonna give away, but don't so wait you can for those. Wield it like the all powerful looking. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get off my lawn! Then I'm, just, <laughs> then I'm just gonna burn. Yeah. Then I'm gonna burn them all. Should have moved quicker, bitches. <laughs> yeah, it sold out. Yeah, I need lose. more room at the show, so I'm burning these 25 tickets. So I do there's appreciate no more the bodies. question. Is the air on the in the car? Yes, the air is on. And we've got, a, <laughs> we've got a window open. We got a door open. I got this uh, light right up against my head. Yeah, this guy JP. Fuck yeah, back on the streets. There you go. Yeah, yeah. Oh, That's JP, people I paid him stoked to say that. already. Twenty dollars in the mail for you, buddy. There Thank you go. You. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. All right, I'm so, gonna go back in and drink another beer. Yeah, you are. I'm doing it. I, you know, I think Dennis just tried to find an angle. Uh, he tried to come up with some something special just because he's trying to be the most frequent guest on Carcone Carne. Second Suck third? it, Josh Caterer. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Josh. He, he had no intention of doing a full album at Reggie's until he realized, wait a minute, I can get my numbers up. That's true. I think this is number four or five for this you, is right? Who's on the next show? Who's on the next show? I gotta figure that out. It's next week. I, I have the date booked. I, it's I Dennis know. Buckley! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he did it. I'm still here. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't left the car. <laughs> it's very cramped back here, James. That's I, why you Can you give home. me a pillow? Yeah, yeah. that's why I work from home. <laughs> right. It's going to be way more comfortable in the bar. It oh, will. Yeah, absolutely. It will. I can't Sp- wait. Speaking of the bar, uh, I've been having the Crook. Uh, IPA. Nice. The IPA. I will not call it the o- uh, old name. I just know it is the Crook. Okay. If your and taxes the, are bad. Yeah, and the Crook is great. Thank you, Dennis. I the love The Crook you. is great. I'm not just saying that because... My favorite people in the in the world are in this car. Yeah. Uh, my second favorite people in the world are in this car. That's true. My first Don't is, forget about is, is, is waiting to uh, patiently, yeah. patiently yeah. for, for me to have another beer. Um, but that's what I'm going to do. Uh, thank you for being a friend. <laughs> bye bye. Thank Cheers. You. See you, buddy. Dennis All Buckley, right. 88 Fingers Louie. Right. Right. I'll be Clap inside track. in a second. Clap track. A, a surprise visit. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, from Dennis Buckley, 88 <laughs> Fingers <laughs> Louie. Bye. Okay, thanks. Bye. Bye. Oh. Well, I can feel like the car jump up a little bit. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I got it.
All right, bye, Dennis. That's why I asked about the shocks earlier. I was yeah. serious. I no, was worried right. about this car. All right, I was nervous. I was nervous. Well, yeah, it's it's not over. We, yet. we made it work. We did it. Jeez, I, we I did love it. you guys. You're my you're my new man friends. Yeah, Thank hell you. yeah, dude. Uh, so I'll be back here in a month. Yeah, yeah. You're three, coming back. Yeah. yeah, you have to. Yeah, you got to come out. Yeah. Uh, and this is awesome. The food is great. The beer is great. You guys are great. It's 350 Brewing Company in Tinley Park. Uh, thanks for doing this. Oh, thank you. Super amazing. cool. Uh, and Carcon Carney, if you if you like watching this on Facebook Live, if you like listening to the podcast on carconcarney.com, uh, please tell a friend. I, I want to keep this thing growing because I enjoy doing this. This is my social life now, so Hell thanks. Yeah. Uh, Carcon Carney, sponsored by Boost Mobile. Go to 350, have a beer. As for these guys, they're amazing. Yep. Cheers, Cheers. guys. That's awesome.